So where does this mcp.json file is available? So the first thing is you go to cursor here and you click on this gear icon on the top right hand side and click on the settings tab. And then here you see a link for MCP. Click on that right now. I don't have anything installed and now everything is disabled. If you want to add a new MCP server, this is where your opens up an mcp.json file. Now, where is this mcp.json file is available? It's available where you have installed your cursor. Okay. So on my machine, if I go to C drive, so if I go over to the uh, C drive users and uh, the sim op, and then dot cursor file, and this is where my mcp.json file is available. Now, whenever you are writing this mcp.json, JSON file, you have to be mindful that your spacing shouldn't be off. You have to use the right arguments. Your command should be correct. Everything should be proper in order for this to work. Because it took me a while to get the Salesforce DX and MCP servers enabled inside of Cursor. So finally, what I had to do, I had to fix my MCP.json file. And also, I have to run this Cursor in an administrator mode in order to get this going. Mm -hmm.